An unfinished melody often tilts between an artist's most exciting and challenging efforts. Songwriter and composer Shane Adams recently applied some of his song polish to the music of the Northwest's talented artists. Here's some comments and sounds from that workshop. What, what I like to do is I like to take a group of people and really amplify what they've already done in their songwriting. My, my purpose isn't really to, to change uh, the type of writing they're doing, it's to, again, help amplify what they're already doing, to, to take their personality and, and make, make, them, make them bigger. Hi, I'm Ann Reese. This is the first time I've done something like um, attending a song workshop or master class. And um, when I first got the email from Ben inviting people to this event, um, I was really excited. I really wanted to do it, but part of me was also very intimidated um, because I've never done anything like this before. Um, but I'm so glad that I was able to get my uh, you know audition pieces ready in time. I still had a sore throat from having a cold but I sort of got them in, and then I was really excited to find out that um, I was accepted to play for the master class in the concert. And um, it's been an incredible day. Um, I, I mean, I knew I was going to learn something, you know, and that I would really enjoy other people's performances and so forth, but I had no idea that it would be this fun and um, inspirational and invigorating and um, just, you know, just, it's, it's been wonderful. It's been a really great day. Um, Shane's suggestions were invaluable. Uh, they just, they made my song instantly so much better. Um, and I'm really excited to take those concepts, you know, that he worked with on that particular song and really apply them to my other songs. And I really, really enjoyed hearing all the other performances and um, was really amazed at the quality of the writing. And um, I really enjoyed, I learned a lot from the suggestions for other people's songs as well. So um, I'm just really, really happy to be here today and to um, have, you know, to be able to take part in the whole day's events. And I definitely would like to um, have another um, experience with um, coaching by Shane in the future. Okay. Hi, um, my name is Miles Forte, and uh, I really got a good experience out of this workshop. Um, I go to school currently for jazz music. Uh, singing especially and um, there's not really much of a songwriting option at my school so this was a really great opportunity to really get a feel from an expert on um, songwriting and lyrics and songwriting forms uh, and Shane is awesome he's really helpful and he's super positive and he helps me a lot with my own song and I would love to work with him again well, what I think makes Shane special as a songwriting coach is that he embodies several things. First, he has a tremendous theoretical knowledge, a sense of harmony, harmonic schemes, and what can be done during a song. Um, two, he has such a vast array of influences and such a huge library of uh, music with which he's familiar. But he also has great empathy. And so when he's approaching the artist, he's been in the situation that he's about to address. And he feels the feelings of nervousness, he understands the need to make a song better, he understands being vulnerable, and he's very sensitive to that. So he approaches it with uh, incredible intelligence, empathy, and then he brings this incredible knowledge and experience uh, with him. I mean, he has done this kind of seminar all over the United States uh, multiple times and he has worked with recording studios, uh, great artists as a consultant and so this is a territory with which he's really familiar. I think the blend of knowledge and empathy and really caring to make it the product better for the person and really for them. He understands at this point in his life it's not about him, it's about the artist. How can I make this artist more true to themselves? How can I make the product something that really makes the statement that the artist is really trying to make? 
he sees their intentions and, and he, he cuts through the stuff that really is superfluous and he gets to the point with just a very caring uh, approach. So that's a rare combination. You take the empathy out and you can cripple people. And if you take the knowledge out, what, what good are you? you know? So that kind of blend is, uh, is, is such a rare find. Uh, this group has been really, really wonderful here in, here in Seattle um, regarding being open and willing to take that chance with me. They, they really put a lot of trust in me. We went through their songs, some of them with a fine tooth comb. They were, they were gracious and kind of nonplussed. Uh, my, my style, I have a tendency to, to stop people in, in mid-sentence. Uh, there, there's a, a gentleman here, a guy named Luke, who was in the, the most powerful part of the bridge of his song, and it was just grooving, and everybody was in the group. And I stopped him, okay, stop right there, Let, let's try this. And, and, and instead of being mad that I interrupted the group, I just willingly dove in. And, and ultimately, I, I, the change helped the song, and, and, and so we let him do it again, and he's, he's actually gonna perform tonight. And, and, and that happened time and time and time and time again. Uh, and, and I just I really appreciate the trust because I, I don't always I don't always get that I mean, a lot of times people uh, you know people's songs are their kids and they, they put so much emotional investment into them that it's hard to make those 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 changes um, but but I feel um, I, I I really try and help people want to trust me that I really have their best interests in mind and and really it's not about me and it's not about them it's about the song because we want the songs to be powerful and we want the we want the songs to have an emotional impact we, we don't want to connect on an academic level we want to connect on an emotional level